This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now nested and multiple lifts are a great thing in Excel. However, they can get quite messy and unwieldy. And sometimes we can use a couple of other little operators that will allow us to test for multiple conditions without actually having to introduce multiple ifs, for example. We can use the AND operator to check for multiple values that meet a set criteria before then triggering the true and the false. Let's see this in action. For example, here in our IF underscore TO sheet, we have a number of pupils. We have their exam results for four exams across. And then whether they have a pass or not will go in here. Now they must reach the pass rate, this value here, in all four subjects. So we would need to run for embedded ifs to say if this one is greater than that, then we're into the second stage of the if. If this one is greater than that, then we're into the third stage of the if. If this one is greater than that, then we're into the fourth stage of the if. This one is equal to that. And then we will finally reach the pass statement. Obviously, failing any way along that way would give us a fail. However, we can shorten that if statement dramatically by using the and statement. So we would start with an if as normal equals if, open brackets. Now our logical test here is actually going to be an AND statement. Now the AND statement in Excel works slightly differently than other programs. So we put AND, open brackets, so it's working like a function. And then within this open brackets and before we close them, go all the separate items you are looking to check separated by a comma. So the first thing we want to check is whether this value here is greater than the pass rate. And then comma, this value here greater than the pass rate, comma, this value here, greater than the pass rate, comma, this value here is greater than the pass rate. And those are the four conditions. Effectively, you would read these as having an and between them. So that must be true, and that must be true, and that must be true, and that must be true. Then we close the brackets for the and statement, and that is effectively our logical test. Then we hit the comma for the if statement. And what will happen if this evaluates the truth of all of those values and that and that and that and that are true, then we've passed. So we can output the value pass. However, if even just one part of that and statement fails, then you've not passed the whole subject. So we are a fail. And then close brackets for the if. So that's our statement if open brackets, our logical test is this whole AND statement and the AND statement syntax is AND open brackets, each item you want to check for, separated by a comma. If you read those commas as the word AND, it just makes it a little easier to follow. So it's this value must be true, AND this value must be true, AND this value must be true, AND this value must be true. Now before we can copy this formula down to the rest of the pupils, we just need to absolute the pass rate cell we have a set of dollars and then we can tear that formula down every single pupil and you'll see that some failed mary for example sally even though she passed one single exam she's failed the rest and guy who's failed everything what a surprise but the ones who have passed all four values are over the 40 percent not one or two or three but all four values because of that and statement so the AND statement is there, AND open brackets, all of the possible values you're trying to check, and there's no limit, you just separate them by commas, close the brackets once you've finished your test for the AND, so every value must be true within that list. Then you hit the next comma to drop you into the true part of your IF statement. In this case, that produces a pass, else, fail. So that's making use of the AND operator inside an if statement to help reduce actually the number of nested ifs you would highly likely need in this kind of scenario.